Well, today I thought I would unbox a Canis Wolfborn, one of the named HQs, uh, which makes him exceptionally unique out of the HQs is that he is actually a mounted HQ uh, here for the Thunderwolves, and he is on a uh, Thunderwolf. Um, so that, to me, makes him a little more of a unique HQ. Um, I, I, I love him. I love the, the, the Wolf Lords on Thunderwolves as well, which you can buy from Citadel. They're super expensive. I can't bash my own, but I figured for the actual Canis, I went with the real thing. So let's take a look at him and see what he's all about. And then here's the back of the box. Now, of course, he is going to be a uh, fine cast resin model. What's nice about this one is he actually comes in an actual, you know, detailed packaging. Usually, their fine cast a lot of times will either just come in a clear, uh, you know, plastic box or uh, or just a white white box. So I, I like that they they went the full nine with this guy in the box. So let's see what we got inside. Canis, come on in. And here we go. And you got here your normal 60 mil base for most of the Thunderwolves. So that is good. And let's open him up. And then here we go. And of course, he's going to be a lot because they had him, I believe, uh, a metal version, which was ungodly heavy. Uh, if I remember right. So the fine cast, you know, will be a much lighter character. And then again, depending on how you feel about fine cast, I think they're all right. Uh, they always have a lot more flash and a lot more cleanup to do. So they are a little more advanced in that sense. And then of course you're going to want to make sure you use your super glue, not your plastic glue on these guys. This plastic glue will not work. Let's, take, let's see if we can get a close-up of his face. There we go. Mm, looks like his eyelash might need a little bit of work. But for the most part, he looks pretty good. I like when they actually have the helmet. A lot of times when they're helmetless, it's like, oh, I'll lose that. And then let's see here. Looks like here's going to be a little bit of cleanup from uh, the molding process. Got a bunch of bubbles. Oh, that's Bubble City right there. Let's see what else we got. with that packaging anymore and then he's got thunder clothes so this guy you can actually make him fairly simply yourself i mean if you really wanted to you know kit bash your own he actually would be a fairly easy kit bash um because most of these pieces you can get um you can get little skulls in, in the skull set you can get these in uh you know just the current um uh, Space Wolves uh, set that has the Thunder Wolves in it. Um, you can still order those online. I still love that set. It's one of my favorites. Um, so he he actually would be pretty easy to do yourself. But I wanted to give the actual one a try for here. I like his backpack. It's got all the, those wolf bones. Maybe they're treats for his Thunder Wolf. And then I love his, his the the plating that comes with this guy on on these wolves. That's cool. I love that shin guard right there. That's awesome. Oh, and then his head, it's a gnarly little. Rawr. The other leg. A little 
little bit of cybernetics going on in this guy. He's he's seen some battle. So you know, there's been a you know a lot of flashing, a lot of a lot of marks, a lot of a lot of bubbles, but still, all in all, love the detail, love the sky. I'm not disappointed in him. Let's see if I can see. Oh, there, there's the bottom of the wolf's head. Not much of a tongue feature, though. So, there he is. That would be your Canis Wolfborn. Fine cast model. And then, of course, unlike most, no rules or anything, but you can find them in the Space Wolf Codex. And there he is. Hope you enjoyed.